Meet Dot, the newest addition to my Amazon Echo family. Dot is smaller, cheaper, and she'll connect to any speaker via Bluetooth or an auxiliary cable. I use Dot on my bedside because that's where my Bluetooth speakers are for now. My standard Amazon Echo is in the kitchen, but I can see myself moving things around now. The speaker in the Dot is not so great. Some say the speaker in the Amazon Echo isn't so great either, but it's always supplied more than adequate sound for me. I use Dot for alarms, listening to news, weather, podcasts, and music in the morning. The very best part, the part that I love, is if I don't like what I'm listening to while I'm in the shower, I can ask Dot to change it with my voice. When I realized that she could hear me with the music playing and the shower going, I have to admit it was one of those, wow, tech is incredibly awesome moments. Now, there's nothing you can't do with the Dot that you can do with the Amazon Echo. In addition to the skills built in, you can enable more skills in the Alexa app. And as I told you a few weeks ago on this show, with If This Then That, you can create recipes to use your voice to control just about anything in your house, aside from the humans actually living in it. Dot has a pretty painless setup. Plug it in and then follow the instructions in the app. It took a few times to accept my Wi-Fi password and I have no idea why. It could have been user error. The best part about the setup is that if you already have the Amazon Echo, the Dot uses the same app, which means your shopping lists, your ordering information, your audiobooks, all your smart home controls and any skills you've already enabled in the Echo are automatically enabled in Dot. Now, I've tried a handful of smart home hubs, and they're always more trouble than they're worth. Summoning Siri by my voice is to control my lights or music has never worked as well as summoning the Amazon Echo. The smart devices I've used can also be just downright impractical. I set up the iHome smart plug to turn off and on my bedside table reading light, and only after all the setup did I realize that I'd need the app on my phone to turn the light on and off, and I don't like to keep my phone in my bedroom at night. I had the same problem with the Insteon hub. But the Echo Dot doesn't care where my phone is. I control all the services through my Dot with my voice. The only big thing missing, of course, is Apple Music, which I can only listen to by manually pairing my iPhone to the Dot. This is the same frustration, of course, that I have with my Apple TV. I can watch anything with it except content from Amazon. I get it. You guys are competitors. But I've already bought both of your products, so why don't you help me out a little here? I ordered Dot the morning that she was available for sale. If you order yours now, you're going to have to wait a while, but of course not as long as you'll have to wait for a Tesla Model 3. Here is a list of pros and cons of the Echo Dot. Pros, it's cheaper than the Amazon Echo. It's only $89.99 right now. It's easy to connect to speakers via Bluetooth or an auxiliary cable. The setup was really easy, especially when you compare the setup to other smart home hubs. And Amazon is always adding new features, so there's almost nothing that you can't do. Here are the cons. You still have to order the dot through the Amazon Echo. And if you order now, you'll have to wait a while. There's also this mysterious note on the Amazon page that says when they run out of devices, they will no longer be available. Um, It's unclear if this is temporary or forever. The sound isn't great. So if you don't have Bluetooth speakers and you want to use it to listen to music, you might consider another option. Here's what the dot sounds like. And here's what it sounds like with the Amazon Echo speaker. But the biggest con is that two devices, so a Dot and an Amazon Echo, don't connect to play together in unison. A few times I've accidentally woken the wrong Echo So if I stand in the middle of my house and ask Alexa to do something, both of my Amazon Echoes will play, but they're not synchronized. Here, I'll show you. Play the program Tech News Today. Now Now anyone anyone can live stream stream straight straight from Facebook Facebook because because what what could possibly go wrong? Maybe someone with more tech skills than I have can tell me why that's so hard to do. If you don't want all of your Echoes to answer at once, you can change the wake word on your dot to Amazon or Echo. So if all of this sounds good to you and you're already enjoying the Amazon Echo and you think you might want another one for another room, I highly recommend the Echo Dot.